Good evening, my name is Lee Miller, um, and I wanted to give you a little bit of background uh, about myself uh, and my educational career. Uh, I graduated from the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, in the year 2007. From there, I had a wonderful opportunity to go to uh, the Randolph County School System and work at Randolph Middle School for four years. Now, while I was at Randall Middle School, right off the bat, even early in my career, uh, I had a great opportunity to go ahead and start uh, in some leadership roles. The first opportunity uh, that I had, uh, there was a position that had just opened uh, inside the school called the Technology um, Staff Development Coordinator. Um, and because smart boards were uh, really just coming around in the Randolph County School System at that point, that's where I did a lot of uh, work. Uh, as far as staff development, showing teachers how they could use uh, these these brand new smart boards. I also went online and tried to find a lot of uh, free Web 2.0 tools and uh, other online resources that teachers could use. Uh, during my four-year stint at Randall Middle School, another leadership opportunity that I had was coaching football. Uh, that taught me time management. Uh, that, you know, they say that uh, – some of the some of the best teachers uh, learn from coaches. They say that some of the best teachers are coaches uh, because coaches have that built in knowledge of how to differentiate and work with students individually while working with a full team at the same time. So that really taught me a lot being around those coaches. That was something that I had the opportunity uh, to pick up on and a skill that I really got to hone in on. After my four years at Randall Middle School, I took off uh, and finally started going after my dream of being a high school teacher. Little did I know that my dream would change to be a high school administrator, but that's later on down the road. I was able to spend three years at Eastern Randolph High School. Um, now, while I was at Eastern Randolph High School, um, one of the really one of the highlights as far as teaching goes is my third year there, my, my final year there. Um, I was a finalist. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but I was a finalist for Distinguished Educator um, of the Year. So that was certainly uh, a way to leave on a high note. But one of the leadership opportunities that I had is I served as our teacher liaison uh, for our superintendent. And what I did is as I I, I worked as a liaison between our superintendent and the school, and every other month we would meet with the superintendent about certain issues, and then we would take those conversations back to uh, the school to kind of have some transparency between the central office and our school. So that was a great leadership opportunity. Also, you know, uh, serving as this, I had a chance to, to talk to the staff and kind of get to know some of their concerns, and I could take those concerns to the superintendent as well. Um, and then after my three years uh, at Eastern Randolph High School, um, things really started to get busy. I moved to Providence Grove High School where I, where I figured out that uh, I wanted to be a high school um, administrator. I've now been at Providence Grove High School for three years, and this is now my 10th year overall uh, of teaching. Now, before I get into some of the leadership opportunities, the biggest highlight and the biggest honor that I've had since I've been at Providence Grove High School, just my second year there, um, I was chosen as Teacher of the Year at Providence Grove High School. And although I did not win it for the entire school system, I was a top five uh, finalist for the Randolph County School System. Um, I am currently this year uh, still serving as the Teacher uh, of the Year at Providence Grove High School, and that is the highlight of my career. Um, I don't think there's anything that could ever top that when your peers um, choose you as as a teacher of the year, especially in a school filled with wonderful teachers and filled with uh, teachers of the year who have who have won it for the entire district. Uh, it certainly was an honor. Now, as far as leadership goes, uh, I've worked on the school improvement team for the past two years, uh, continuing to uh, make short and long term goals for our school. Uh, working with our school improvement plan, looking at uh, some of the teacher working conditions survey data. Uh, and then, of course, I've had a ton of leadership opportunity as I've attended Garner Webb University uh, in the Master's in Executive Leadership program. I've, been I've spent the last year and a half or year 
uh, working on a uh, internship program. Um, now the program has required 400 hours. Uh, I think I finished my 400 hours uh, in my first semester. Uh, administration has really allowed me to dive into um, basically whatever I want to do. Um, you know, I have dealt with an array uh, of issues. First, I'll uh, start out with buses. Um, I, for, for a, about a semester and a half, uh, every single day, I was out at the buses in the um, afternoons and watched the kids go. If there was a discipline issue, um, I would work with the uh, assistant principal to handle it. At times, I would handle it myself. Um, there was a, there was actually a, a two week period where our assistant principal uh, went off to uh, Greece. Uh, and since I had the experience working with the buses, I knew how everything ran. Uh, I had the wonderful opportunity of getting some serious experience in those two weeks uh, dealing with buses. Um, if a bus driver called in sick, uh, they contacted me and I got a sub. I took care of that for two weeks. Uh, if there was a discipline issue on the bus, I handled the discipline issue. I called home. I made contact with the parents. I talked with the kids and explained to them what their uh, disciplinary action would be. So as far as buses go, I have quite a bit of uh, experience. Um, I've also taken care of uh, in-school discipline. Um, you know, once again, with the guidance of uh, our principal and assistant principals, uh, I have been involved in quite a bit of discipline issues from fights to um, students disrespecting teachers to students being out of area to students skipping class I've dealt with discipline issues as far as uh, students maybe bringing illegal items to school um, I have dealt with uh, issues with attendance so I've dealt with a with a uh, an array of discipline issues uh, I've also served um, uh, a lot of time uh, with a lot of uh, after-school activities for example, this, this past football season, I was at every single uh, Friday night game. Um, and, you know, it's funny because as a spectator and as a teacher, you go to the game, you watch the game, you, you root on your, your kids. But as an administrator, you get to do that a little bit. But there's also um, some legalities. There's some discipline issues. Um, uh, for example, one evening, some students from the opposing team school um, – brought drugs on campus, um, came over the walkie talkie. Uh, one of our administrators was already up there. Our SRO was up there. Um, and they invited me to come see how that was handled. Uh, so that was certainly, uh, quite the eye opening experience, but it's experience that I've had. I've seen how it's handled. Um, after it was done, the, the administrator followed up with me and, you know, asked how I would handle certain situations. So, you know, uh, certainly, certainly eye opening, but it was, it was also, uh, good to see, uh, during my internship, uh, I have collected a ton of data. I've worked for the principal to, uh, complete quarterly reviews, uh, which he reports back to central office and I've also worked with um, our accreditation with advanced ed I had to collect a lot of data um, for our school making sure that we were doing everything that we needed to be doing in order to be uh, an accredited school program um, the the Garner Webb program has has uh, had me set a lot of short-term and uh, long-term uh, goals at Providence Grove High School, and I've been very fortunate to work with a principal that has allowed me to implement those. One of those, uh, the highlight uh, of my of my time in my internship, is probably the creation of uh, what I call Ignite, um, and it is a mentor program where at-risk students are paired up with a teacher that serves as their mentor. Um, and the key component to this is is that the students have absolutely no idea that they are in a program, that they are enrolled in this program. All they know is that a teacher has come up to them and started building a relationship with them and shown some interest in their life. Um, and I've made it a point to tell teachers to make sure that they do not tell these kids that they are in the Ignite program. So these kids have no idea. All they know is, is that a teacher has come up um, and showed some uh, interest in them. 
And finally, uh, the last thing that I would like to share, um, this is an accomplishment um, and it is also a highlight um, and it ranks second only to being elected teacher of the year. And that is my uh, principal um, has told me that one of our uh, assistant principals at our school will be retiring next year uh, and he would like to see me uh, step into his role and become the next assistant principal at Providence Grove High School. And that is certainly um, an honor. Thank you.